welcome to episode 22 of my building the Black Pearl Golden Edition and as you can see I've made progress I've gotten a lot of the rope work done I've got the rat lines done exciting time I enjoy doing rope work it is time consuming it's coming along very well so as you can see but you also might notice that I have a box here beside me and that's some very exciting news and it's the next build that I'm going to do to give you an idea of the magnitude this box weighs over 16 pounds and I'm going to do an opening and show the parts and some of the equipment inside in my very next video so stay tuned for that it should be in just a week or so I hope it is amazing that's all I'm going to say at this time so let me show you some close-ups of the ship and give you an overview and then I'll go into some of the details as to any any issues that I had or any complications or things that I ran into that might be a little more specific if you watch the entire video and stay tuned for this it's pretty special I do have the rope work in segment one done this is kind of a overview of that I'll just pan down the ship. One area of interest is the sailor on top of the mast and you can see I made a little uh, lantern and I was able to kind of paint over the lantern a little bit and make it a little bit duller than the rest of the lights which worked out very well. I'm very happy with him. I'm hoping from this angle I've dimmed the lights and you can see underneath the upper level where the entrance to the captain's quarters are and you can see those windows and doors and the flickering of those lights. Here's a little better view of the sailor with the lantern on the mast. The other area that I lit is uh, below the grate, the lower decks. There are a couple lights down there. And this is the um, lifeboat sitting on top of that. I can remove that too. This is a little bit what she looks like in dim light. And you can see here towards the back. Something I've figured out on these rope lines for the ladders is you need to make sure that they angle back enough that they won't interfere with these yards. So just realize that the very front one needs to be even or back from the mast. Hope that makes sense and some of them like down here this is going to cause a problem for me. So this somehow early on should have been back a little towards the rear of the ship. Helpful hint for you, too late for me. There's not much information in the instructions on this area right here and there'll be real thin rope that comes from here, we'll go clear up to the top. And then it goes down and ties in here. This little wooden piece is not included in the kit. I made that. And what I've done is put a couple little grooves so I can slide the rope into hold right there. And that gives these a little better shape. And these ropes will come down and tie in and then go all the way up to the top. So let me show you what that looks like here in just a second. I had mentioned earlier that this little wooden support here, and you can see it better over on this side, that I didn't locate those in the instructions. The part is actually there. I've got extra parts at this point, and I did discover a part that looks like it would be this, but there's only two of them. On the parts list, this would be D7. 
and it does list that there are four of them and that's what would be needed. Now I've got two, I'm missing two, but I, no, well, no. So on the front mast and the mizzen mast, the rear mast, these are available. So I've already made them on the front and you do need to put them on obviously before you tie everything up. So these are movable for now and then I'll position them in a permanent spot. Let me also mention that if you look very closely on this back side, I cut little notches to slide the ropes through because I had put the ropes up before I discovered that these were available. So that's an option if you've already put ropes up and then I can uh, just dab a little stain in there and that will cover that up. A couple of things that I've learned from my efforts and number one, I would not get one of these rat liner tools because they're specific for a certain uh, scale and it was not the exact scale of this one and in some cases you need to tailor the, the rat lines to the ship. I, I can't explain that too well but I've determined that you're better off just putting it on the ship and doing them on the ship in my opinion so I learned that lesson. The next tool that I would not buy again is the dead eye tool and even though it makes them pretty consistent on the tool itself on the small ones sometimes they get twisted and it's hard to realign them and they get turned again I've determined that it's just easier to do it on the ship so let me show you the one that I'm working on now this is one of the pre-made dead eyes but I'm going to show how I do this these are clamping scissors so I get the thread centered in the groove of the dead eye and I'll take this tag now you can't see but I'm laying it where the handles of the scissors are so it doesn't get tangled up and then I'll twist it a couple times and now I'm going to put some CA glue on the rope hold the dead eye and spin those clamping scissors and I spin it fairly tight good and snug and then I hold it for about 10 seconds or so what I'm doing here is I'm just taking that line and securing it up on one of the masts so it holds it firm but not too tight you're going to go behind all the rope lines keep it down low see I'm, st I'm sticking these tweezers inside the top of that hole and I'm going to bring that line back out and now you're going to cinch it as tight as you can on the top of that dead eye and I'm, I've already hooked the line onto it and I, what I did is I twisted it put a little super glue in there to hold it in place so you're going to take both those lines hold them up tight clip it with a very small alligator clip now you're going to take another line and go behind and this I'm using a different color just tying a square knot and the left hand side I want to be relatively short maybe two inches total and I'm going to tie this also right at the top of that dead eye sorry you can't see that that's better and I've been putting just a very tiny dot of CA glue on that square knot. You're going to take the, the long part of that tag and you're going to also raise it up with these other two lines that you have. I'm going to hold those up in the air and now I'm going to bring that colored line back down so what I've created is a loop next is your shorter line that one that I said would be about two inches long you need to wrap it around so here I'm starting to wrap 
and you want it to wrap around all of those lines, all those other lines. You wrap that around seven times and then you can release the, the top alligator clip and that loop, you'll put the same colored thread through that loop that you use to wrap it and then you find the other tag end that comes out the bottom of the wrap and then slowly but firmly pull that down. What you're doing is you're pulling the tied rope down inside itself to hold it. You can also attach it with a little bit of super glue. I don't know that that's totally necessary but I normally do. Then it's just a matter of clipping off all the extra ends that you have so it's a nice smooth surface. This technique you get better with experience and I'm still learning but it is working pretty well. I want to clarify how I do the rat lines and I've got it perfected as far as my view of it and what I've done is I've taken these alligator clips and I've ground off the teeth so it'll grab a thread better so that will grab that nice and tight so I'm just gonna let that dangle and I'm gonna start out and I'm gonna go behind and underneath that alligator clip now I can pull up some of the slack I'm gonna let that just dangle there now I'm gonna go behind come out and this loop go through it okay so this is the first knot where I had said before you could do a square knot I still like this type knot and I can now use my fingers to pull that and I kinda of go up and down I want this first one to be nice and tight now I can remove that alligator clip and I can continue on again we're going underneath so it's coming under going back through, pull it, and now it goes through the loop. Then you pull straight across to the left, going from right to left, and you can actually pull this line a little bit, because then you're not, you're not forcing these together, you're getting a little gap, and I think that would be natural if, if uh, sailors stepped on it. I finished all this rope work. Now I move down to this section here and this is where the yards will be put in place. A lot more rope work before I then go to the final segment of rope work. So that's it for episode 22. Appreciate you watching and following along and uh, not done yet. I have a lot more rope work to do and then some of the finishing touches. But as always, thanks for watching.